Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and we're gonna do something that is pretty much what I started doing on my channel back in 2011 or 12 when I first started making YouTube videos. Back then, I was doing a lot of video game modding stuff, uh, specifically the Xbox 360 scene, and there was so much stuff going on in the scene that every couple days I would make like a news update video on kind of new things that were going on where I would have links in the description to where you could find out more or read about them yourselves, but I would cover some of those topics in video format in a much shorter, like easy to consume bite-sized piece. So with the recent announce of the palette, I decided I wanted to make a video kind of like this and see what you guys think, see how it goes, and maybe see if this is something that I want to bring back to the channel since back years and years ago when I was doing this, I had a lot of fun kind of news casting or um, talking about just new things that were coming out as far as software and hardware development went in the modding scene. And now, of course, I'm much more into the uh, mostly 3D printing, but also just maker aspect of uh, YouTube. That's kind of what my channel has become and morphed into. Without further ado, let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But the Mosaic Palette 2 was announced this last week and if you want to see a really good in-depth breakdown of the machine and what it's capable of, there's two really good videos out. Uh, one is from Tested, and I will place links in the description to both of these. Uh, one's from Tested, and one is from Joel Telling, or Joel the 3D Printing Nerd, as he is better known. And these are really, really awesome videos. Joel's is 35 minutes long. It covers everything. And Tested is 22 minutes long, but I figured I'd try to break this down in no more than eight minutes, so that way you can kind of see and hear what this is all about. So the Mosaic Palette 2 is the um, kind of newer version of the Palette, which has been out for quite a long time. There was the Palette and the Palette Plus. What the Palette does is it allows any single extrusion 175 machine to be able to print in multi-materials. So it takes in four different materials. You have your slicer in G-code where you take that and then you import it into Mosaic Palette software, decide it does its little magic where it, you know, it decides and creates the G code where certain things will be printed in certain colors and then spits out that G code and you can then print it from whatever source you want. Well, it was a really awesome machine, but uh, it was pretty pricey. The original one was 1000 US dollars retail. The Palette Plus was 800 US dollars retail and there were definitely some complications and difficulties with the machine. It took a lot of initial calibration and a lot of setup and it was able to perform beautifully when you put in the work to get to that endpoint. but for a lot of people it was a lot more involved than what they probably would like. So fast forward and we have the announcing of the Palette 2. So a couple things about it. It comes in two flavors. You got the regular Palette 2 which is both available for pre-order. It will retail at $599, but it is available right now for pre-order for $499. And we've got the Palette 2 Pro, which is $799, but is available for pre-order for $699. So the regular Palette comes in white, the Palette Pro comes in, the Palette 2 Pro comes in black. Um, shipping is going to be shipping out, it says here, early October. So that is when they will be available if you pre-order. If you wait, I don't know when the stock will be readily available, but one, this is a major overhaul from the previous version. I'll actually pull you guys up just so you guys can see this is the either the palette or the palette plus right here. It's just a rectangular box where you've got four tubes coming in, one tube coming out, and it's got a little LCD screen. Well, the new palette 2 has got a really cool touch LCD screen where you can do just about everything from the LCD itself, which is really, really nice. Um, one big thing with the original palette was that if you had to do any kind of troubleshooting, it was kind of difficult to get inside and to uh, replace parts as needed, while on the palette 2, everything is either just thumb screws or using magnets. So the whole cover pops off with, uh, off with magnets, which is really cool. And you've got this thing called the splice core. So the main difference between the palette 2 and the palette 2 Pro is one, the color, which is not a big deal. Um, the palette 2 has a regular splice core and the, the palette Pro has a, I believe it was an aluminum um, splice core. And so, the differences are that the Palette 2 Pro is able to um, slice and splice at a 20% higher rate, so you get a little higher output. It also comes with a 12-month warranty versus a 3-month warranty with the regular uh, Palette 2. And it also comes with a basic maintenance kit, so you'll get some parts that might be consumable. I don't have exactly a uh, list of the items currently, but those are kind of the differences. I do plan on, I don't know if I'll pre-order it, but I do plan on picking one up. Um, more likely than not, we will be carrying them at Matter Hackers, I'm sure. I can't guarantee that, but I, I wouldn't doubt it. We carry the older version. Um, 
And so I'm really, really excited to get my hands on this. And it works the same way in the sense that you've got four filaments going in, one strand of filament coming out on a Bowden-like setup. So you can install this into your current 175 Bowden printer. It can either sit beside your printer or mount onto the back of it for a lot of them. And you've got all of your different NEMA 17 motors inside of here. And on the original version, for the kind of excess, um, so it's splicing a bit quicker than your printer is printing, it had kind of a telescopic type tube that worked, but this is a much, I think, better setup because that one was external, and having an external thing leaves chance for tangles or something to go wrong, while on this one, with the extra filament that is being spliced as your printer is printing, the excess just stays inside, so it'll feed out as the printer is ready to print it. So I think that's a really cool thing. And the splice core is something that you can easily remove with just a thumb screw. If you want to see that, check out again Joel's uh, or test the tested video. Um, it also has the ability to do, um, I believe like the first one, you can create kind of like a rainbow filament so you can have four filaments feeding in and basically just have it printing like a uh, rainbow pattern so that it gives a really cool looking design if that's something you wanna do. But one really cool upgraded feature um, to this that the first one didn't have was if you want to print something large and let's say you've got, you know, you want to print it in blue and you've only got half of a one kilogram spool and you know this thing's going to take three kilograms, you can hook up now one, two, three, four different one kilogram blue spools. It'll print with the first one. As soon as that runs out, it'll splice into the second one and continue on, which is really cool for large prints that, again, you don't have a massive spool of and you don't want to have to worry about it. That is a very, very cool feature that was not on the first one. So that is the palette two. There is a lot more to it, but that at least kind of sums up what it can do. Um, they also implemented a new slicer or software called Canvas, which is now available for beta. You can test it online, um, I believe, in your browser. I, I loaded it up the other day, but if you guys want to see that, maybe I can do a separate video on it completely. Uh, but there's also something now called the Canvas Hub, which is really cool. Also, I will show you guys that here. So there's another really cool thing called the Canvas Hub, which is $79. Uh, I believe it retails at $99, but it, it might be $79 even at, at MSRP. Uh, but basically, from what I've gathered, it is a Raspberry Pi Zero that runs a custom version of OctoPrint. So you can plug in both your Mosaic palette as well as your printer into it, making them wireless, which is what OctoPrint normally does to your printer. But now your palette can also be wireless. So if you have all of your spools hooked up, you've got full control of it from your web browser, um, and you can probably port forward it so you can even control it from another location, which is a really, really cool feature. Um, the one thing I'm curious about, which I haven't gotten a definitive answer from, is whether you can you can use this OctoPrint flavor on your own. So I can see this being really cool for someone that wants more of a plug and play experience, but for someone like me, I've got plenty of Raspberry Pis. If I get the palette, I'd like to run this own custom version of OctoPrint on my own Raspberry Pi and just use one of the existing ones. So it'll be interesting to see whether they announce or whether it is a public uh, release. I don't know how the licensing works with OctoPrint, but I believe it's open source. So I'm assuming that they will have to actually release their source code for this publicly um, maybe somebody knows you can let me know in the comments down below this is the canvas hub so we've got the canvas hub we've got the mosaic palette 2 and the uh, palette 2 pro along with the new canvas software that they have which is supposed to make doing multi-material printing a lot easier and kind of a little bit more intuitive so hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you like these kind of quick little newsy update videos on maybe new products that i might do with new printers or slicers or things like that as always thank you guys so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video peace guys